These smartphone concepts may just be the next big thing. Today, we'll take a look at the triangular phone, the holographic phone, and everything in between. Here are the top 15 future smartphone designs that could be big. Number 15, ear phone. Cell phones were once devices designed solely for making phone calls and sending messages. But since the advent of the smartphone devices have begun to get increasingly bigger. While this is ideal for providing a larger screen for watching videos, taking photographs, and using them as portable computers, they are becoming more and more cumbersome when you actually want to make a call. If designer Ilshat Garipov is right, we may soon see handsets that give us the best of both worlds. His concept phone, called the Kambala, is both a smartphone and an earphone, and it comes with a number of amazing features. The incredibly thin handset itself is made from a multi-layered polymer and is covered with a continuous flexible screen. If you want to talk, you can remove a section from the center of the screen, which doubles as an ear clip and has a speaker and microphone built into it. But even when it's detached from the rest of the phone, the screen on it can still be used. This means that when clipped on the ear, it can be made transparent in what is an even more discreet design than the wireless earphones that are commonplace today. As new screen technologies are developed that are far more durable than is seen in most smartphones right now, a variety of uses like the earphone will become possible, and it's solely down to the imagination of the designers as to what it can be used for. Number 14. Triangular Phone We're so used to the idea of phones being rectangular in shape, but why does it have to be this way? The immediate answer is that their design is influenced by the fact that as much space as possible is given to the screen, and that video media is usually accessed in a widescreen format. But what would be possible if handset designers could experiment with different shapes? There have been a number of attempts to make a viable triangular phone, for example because the pointed edges make it far easier to hold than an increasingly larger rectangular design. There's still a limitation by doing this though, which is again to do with the need for a rectangular screen but engineers have begun to look at other ways they can incorporate sharper edges into designs. The Nokia Diamond concept phone is a great example. While it appears to be a traditional rectangle shape if you look at it top-down, but the rear of the device is far from it. It's made up of various geometric shapes, which make it far easier and more comfortable to hold for extended periods of time. It's likely that elements like these will become far more common in handsets of the future, where far more focus will be put on the comfort and practicality of using a device as opposed to the sheer power and functionality. Number 13. Morph Phones Have you ever been using an app or function on your phone and felt that it would be far easier to use and more effective if the handset itself was a different shape? With the advent of more malleable materials and smaller electronics, it will soon be possible to create handsets that can be morphed into the best shape for what you're doing. If you're watching a video, they'll be rectangular as normal, but you'll be able to bend them to most suitable shape for other uses, such as wrapping it around your wrist if you want to time a run, being stretched to be worn as glasses if you want to walk around the world with augmented reality, or even folded in a concertina shape so they can stand up on a table themselves. Nokia released a concept device called the Morph that had a number of these features. And while the technology isn't quite there yet, it's thought that this will be a common trait of smartphones within the next five to 10 years. Number 12, foldable phone. One of the biggest restrictions we face with smartphone handsets is how delicate and rigid the screens are. They break easily if they're dropped and definitely can't be bent without causing any damage. So it's no surprise that manufacturers are looking at techniques to make viable screens that are much more malleable. Not only will this reduce breakages, but will allow for much larger screens to be built into devices. With foldable phones, for example, instead of having the screen on the outside surface, it'll instead be in the center of a phone that's folded in half. When you open it, you'll have twice as large a screen as you do currently for a similarly sized handset. And when it's folded away, it won't be subjected to the same impacts and risk that current models have. This isn't a particularly new concept, as several manufacturers have already released their first attempts at a truly foldable phone, but they are yet to design one that functions as promised. The screen still shows signs of wear and tear and aren't as durable as most people would need, but it'll only be a matter of years until technology has caught up and screens like these will be commonplace. In 10 years' time, screens will be so durable that the idea of them being cracked and needing to be replaced will be a distant memory which will be a major quality of life improvement for every consumer. Number 11. Holographic Displays 
A number of technological improvements are developed after engineers see them in sci-fi movies, but it's been almost 50 years since we saw the first Princess Leia hologram in Star Wars, and we're yet to have a portable holographic projector of the same quality. This might be about to change, though, because recently Samsung has patented a technology that promises to be able to do just that. Several phones and game consoles have been released in recent years with promises of 3D images that'll appear to leap out of the screen. But these have all relied on optical illusions that require the user to look at the handset from a very specific angle. This new patent, however, uses what they call a new type of spatial light modulator that both improves the quality of holographic images and also increases the effective range of angles for it. The light is then emitted from a series of micro lens arrays and then forms into an image above the surface of the screen. While it's probably several years until the technology is ready for mass market products, the ability to project holograms from a phone will inevitably change communication and gaming for good. Number 10, improved grip. The most popular brands of smartphones are slick devices with glass screens and aluminum, polished metal, or smooth plastic bodies. And while this is something we're used to, it's not necessarily the most practical of designs. Quite often, you'll see someone taking a selfie with an adaptation on the back of their handset that they've added themselves to aid with holding on to their valuable device without the risk of dropping it. But why can't phone manufacturers build them to be easier to hold in the first place? It may not be a feature that everyone wants, but there will be certainly a market for them, particularly from those who regularly drop their handsets. And LG is definitely ahead of the curve in terms of concept designs. A few years ago, they released images of the so-called LG Traveler, which was a handset intended to appeal to those who are constantly on the move. It has a rectangular screen, as you would expect, but the body behind it is unlike anything you'll have seen before. It's a thin slider phone with jagged edges that are designed to grip in your hand much easier, even if it does look like an alien communication device. It has a touchscreen, a camera, and the ability to run everyone's favorite apps, all while being able to hold and operate in just one hand. Number nine, the roll-up phone. We rely on our smartphones to provide far more than communications, and the most popular features of the latest devices are the cameras and screens. If you asked experts the direction that phone design would have gone 20 years ago, everyone assumed they would become smaller and smaller, but now the reverse is true. Handsets are now increasing in size every year, and that's all because people want much larger screens to watch content on. But this poses a problem, because there's only so much room that's available in your pocket or bag. The initial solution to this is the notion of a foldable phone, which uses a flexible screen and can provide much larger screen sizes in comparison to the handset size. But there are some companies that already have their sights on the next development, which is a roll-up phone. Made from a bendable screen that's almost paper thin, these phones will be able to roll up into a small tube that's smaller than current handsets, when you want to use the screen, you can unfurl it to reveal one that's as big as a tablet. And it'll also come with a powerful camera, processor, and high-capacity battery that'll be fitted in a cylindrical unit at one end of the device. According to rumors, Sony has already developed a working prototype of a device like this, but quite how long it'll be until they can produce them for an affordable price isn't yet clear. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Flutter Phone If the slide phone was the cool gadget of the 90s, so much so that it was in the Matrix movies, then the contender for this decade may well be the Flutter Phone. It's a concept that was created by LG and turns all expected design features on their head. When closed, it looks like a futuristic device and is recognizable as a phone with numerical buttons and a small display to the center. When it's like this, it can be used to make calls and messages, but the real magic happens when you open it up. Instead of sliding upwards, this phone opens out sideways and reveals a curved touchscreen where you'll gain access to all of your apps and more complex functions of the phone. This design is certainly radical and may not be brought to market itself, but it goes to show what's possible when you start designing phones without such a priority on screen space for videos and images. Could the Flutter phone be a sign of things to come? Or is it too crazy a design for people to be comfortable with? Either way, with improvements in screen technology, we're almost certain to see some designs like this being offered by manufacturers looking to carve a unique niche for themselves. Number seven, modular phones. Improvements in screen, processor, and camera technology are so fast that most handset manufacturers can release substantial upgrades to their products every year. 
While most people's concern is the hole this burns in their pockets, the real damage caused by this consumerism is environmental, with millions of devices being thrown away while they're still essentially fully operational. There are a number of schemes designed to try to reuse these parts, but the phones of the future may have a completely different design, which will allow you to upgrade your handset piece by piece. The first modular phone hit the market a few years ago, and there was relatively little interest. But now there are more options than ever, and they're expected to make a comeback. Not only do they mean you can make incremental upgrades, but they also allow you to focus on the features you value most. If you want to improve the camera, but aren't so worried about the processor power, then you can do that. Or if you want a specialized module such as a wide-angle lens, you can install one of those without having to choose an entire handset based on your photographic needs. Modular phones will allow us to personalize our experience, significantly reduce the number of components that are thrown in the garbage, and will allow for the design of enhancements that would otherwise be unviable in a mass market product. And as well as saving the environment, could prove to be far more cost effective too. Various companies are now developing the next versions, and they could well be commonplace within a couple of years. Number six, health phones. With the combination of smartphone and a smartwatch, we're now able to monitor our health more effectively than ever. Depending on how you use the apps that are available, you can track your sleep, your steps, your heart rate, and even your blood sugar levels and cardiovascular health. There are already devices that can warn you that you need to seek medical attention before symptoms begin to develop, but we're just at the beginning of the advantages health-based devices can offer. A number of concept smartphones have been proposed that include peripherals that can precisely monitor specific body functions. And with the powerful processors that are now found in phones, apps will be able to instantly analyze the data and provide advice for how to be more healthy. As further devices are developed, capabilities will branch out far further than generic health data that's currently collected, and will even be able to help with individuals' less common conditions. If, for example, you have an illness in your lungs, the smartphones of the future will be able to measure your blood oxygen levels and alert you if you need to use your ventilator or go to see your doctor. Now that we live in a world where communicable diseases are having devastating effects on our lives and freedoms, it's hoped that sensors may be able to be added to our phones or watches that can pick up signs of whether we're infected or not and advise on the appropriate action. Our individual health is now, more than ever, important not just for ourselves, but for the health of those around us, and the powerful computers we carry around with us are going to become essential in combating these threats in the future. Number 5. New Interfaces In the 90s and early 2000s, we inputted our instructions into our phones with physical buttons. Then, with the launch of the iPhone, touchscreens became the standard and have continued to improve ever since. But is this the best type of interface possible? With future designs that may have holographic projectors or augmented reality capabilities, the information and entertainment that our smartphones provide will likely extend far beyond the screen itself, so inputting commands with a touchscreen will eventually become impractical. So what are the alternatives? Companies have for years offered adaptive keyboards that use lights to project the letters and numbers onto a surface and use sensors to detect which ones we press. But the potential for new interfaces goes far beyond this. Smartphones of the future may have an attachment that fits on our hand or is projected from a watch, and simply swiping or gesturing with our fingers will be able to control our phones. There's the possibility, too, that the cameras of our phones will be able to detect our eye movement and simply move and select based on what we're looking at. And eventually, the holy grail in the world of interfaces will be the ability to directly read our brainwaves and act on your thoughts. Of course, some of these technologies are far closer to becoming a reality than others, but the way we interact with our devices will be unrecognizable in 10 years' time in comparison to what we do today. Number 4. Transparent Headset The potential uses of augmented reality is undeniable, but it's not yet fit for purpose. It requires us to hold our phones up towards an object, which then replicate what the camera sees on screen and adds the extra elements. This takes up significant processing power, has a slight delay, and isn't as sharp as it could be. But things could soon be very different if a recent patent filed by Samsung becomes a reality. They appear to be very close to developing and releasing a transparent handset, and it's only just becoming clear how useful a technology this will be. They work because each pixel on the phone's screen will be able to become transparent and let light through, and it looks like a portable window that you can take around with you. Apart from looking cool, it'll make far easier to incorporate augmented reality, and will also allow for the handset to be used in completely different ways. 
Imagine being able to put your phone on the windscreen of a car, for example, and you get a heads-up display that could even point out potential hazards on the road and keep track of all the signs that you pass. It also makes it far easier to frame your photos than relying solely on the image being replicated from the camera, and will make handsets feel much more futuristic. This technology isn't expected to be available for a few years yet, but when it's viable, it'll surely be used on all of the manufacturer's flagship models. Number 3. Bracelet Phones Large, rectangular, and rigid smartphones are a part of life right now, and we're used to carrying them around in our pockets or bags. But what if there was a different way? Manufacturers have long been looking for ways to develop more durable and flexible screens along with smaller components, and this opens up a whole range of possibilities when it comes to the designs of the future. While the main phones on offer will all likely follow a sensible and functional design path, companies will be able to release niche devices that appeal to specialized groups of consumers. One design that's been suggested that'll fit into this category is the idea of a bracelet phone, which essentially works like a snap bracelet toy we all had in the 90s. It would have been a bendy screen on top of a rigid plastic body, but this could be wrapped around your arm, for example, and stay firmly in place. If the thought of wearing your phone on your body doesn't appeal, there are other potential uses for this too. It'll be far easier to attach your phone to a shelf, a tabletop, or anything else around your home, which will mean you can turn virtually anything into a mount for your screen. Number two, inbuilt attachments. There are hundreds and maybe even thousands of different peripherals that you can use with your smartphone, from watches to wireless earbuds to doorbells and home heating controls. But there's always a concern when you're buying a new device that not everything will work as planned. Even if something should, in theory, work with your phone and its operating system, not everyone is able to update to the latest version, and it can become a nightmare to figure out what will work where. One solution to this is to buy a phone that comes with its own attachment straight from the box. First devices like these were first put forward about a decade ago and included a detachable earpiece that would keep connected via Bluetooth, and once you're finished using it, it can be reattached to the phone, which will charge it too. Of course, we're not exactly short of options when it comes to wireless headsets now, but manufacturers are looking at whether there are other peripherals that would be useful to specific customers. Architects and planners, for example, often have to make very precise measurements using lasers to understand height differentials across a piece of land or to make sure a wall is being built precisely straight. And it's possible a phone of the future that's targeted at them could include a laser attachment that communicates with the phone to create a precise blueprint of the area being looked at. Another idea is to include miniature drones that can launch from your phone with a camera on them or to reach a higher vantage point so you get a better cell signal, all of which would add further functionality and choice to you over which device is most suited to your lifestyle. Number one, kinetic phones. Despite having faster processors, clearer cameras, and much larger storage, it never seems like battery technology in phones is really improving. Usually, you'll run out of charge in a day, which was the same about a decade ago. And while the truth is that batteries are now far better than they once were, all of this added benefit is being used for the increasingly power-hungry components that are used. Fast charging technology is now enabling us to reach a full charge very quickly and wireless charging makes it even more convenient, but the phones of the future could well have their own ways of generating power. You may already be familiar with kinetic charging devices, as they're often marketed at active people who will benefit from them the most. The basic principle is that they convert your movement into electricity, which can then power your device. But the technology is still in its nascent stages, and it isn't anywhere near as effective enough to keep a smartphone operational. There's thought to be plenty of potential improvement, however, as it could be used to top up the battery power. Say, for example, you charge your phone up overnight, and your movement during the day extends the charge a little, then that in itself would be a useful thing. It's unlikely to ever completely replace the need for an external power source, but phones of the future could well have much longer effective battery lives by using ideas like this. Watch our future playlist for more top 15 videos about the future. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best future-related videos.